Lamborghini CEO Stefano Domenicali revealed to Automotive News Europe that a robust, 650-horsepower twin-turbo V8 will sit at the heart of the company's upcoming Urus SUV. Lamborghini says the Urus, its first turbocharged model, will climb atop the Super SUV ladder and become the fastest sport utility in the world. Making 50 more horsepower and expect it to be a good deal lighter, the Urus should have no problem overtaking the 187 mile per hour top speed of its corporate cousin and platform mate, the Bentley Bentga, the current title holder. A hybrid model also will be offered. In addition to claiming that crown, the Urus will be the driving force in Lamborghini's planned expansion over the next few years. Its San Agata Bolognese factory will produce the Urus alongside the Aventador and the Hurricane, and the company is in the process of nearly doubling the facility's floor space to about 1,615,000 square feet. More than 150 assembly line workers and technicians were hired in January 2016 in anticipation of the Urus, and the factory expects to add another 500 staff members as production ramps up. The factory pumped out a record 3,457 Aventadors and Hurricanes last year, and Lambo looks to add 1,000 units of its SUV in its first year and 3,500 by 2019, doubling total output. Lamborghini's spiritual successor to the wild LM002 Rambo Lambo of the late 1980s, the four-seat Urus isn't named for a Spanish fighting bull like most models in the exotic car maker's history, but rather for a historical relative of modern domesticated cattle. As the most domestic-oriented Lamborghini model, this makes sense. Pre-production vehicles began rolling off the line in April, and production examples of the Urus will hit U.S. dealerships in the fall of next year. Pricing is expected to start below $200,000.